Welcome to this Flame Guitars video and you join me once again in my South London workshop. Now the best part of a year ago I was contacted by Naren, the soon to be owner of this guitar. And he asked me whether I would consider building a microtonal guitar. Now some years ago I built an electric saz for someone. A saz is a traditional Turkish instrument that has tones, semitones and quarter tones. So I'm sort of partly familiar with that as a microtonal instrument. But I think what Naren wanted something something quite quite different, which was sort of new to me. So I, I did an internet search to find out, and I put in you know, what is a microtonal guitar, and I found lots of information about different forms of microtonal instruments. But Naren and I began a conversation, and out of those conversations, the design for this guitar emerged. Now this guitar has 19 frets per octave. So it's also called a, a 19 tet, 19 tones of equal temperament instrument. Uh, but I'll come back and talk about that in, in a bit more detail. But first, let's have a, an overview of the guitar. So starting with the neck, we have a maple neck with a colored ebony fretboard. The fretboard is bound and is bound with tulip wood. The fretboard itself has a 20 inch radius, so quite flat and the frets are Evo Gold. The headstock has a tulip wood facing to it. The body top is black walnut, and this is just one of my favorite pieces. I've made a number of guitars with very similar walnut tops as this, come from, coming from the same tree. Just gorgeous. Quite reluctant to see it go, but it's just, <laughs> it's so lovely to see it uh, on this guitar now. The main body wood is white limber, also called Carina, and this is a one piece body. And the cavity cover is also made of walnut. For the pickups, we have a couple of humbuckers. These are Oil City pickups, they're black tracks. And in the center, we have a pickup that I've never come across before. This is made by SciSfy Research, who I think are based in the Philippines. And this, this allows you to process each string individually, and this goes to a 19 pin jack socket. For the controls, we have a master volume, master tone, a three way switch, and also a bass contour. Now, the bass contour, I saw one of these quite recently on a, a, a Reverend guitar that came into the workshop for some work. I think it's fair to say, at least to my ear, that the bass contour is more useful when using distortion than on a clean sound. And what it does, again, to my ear, is give a more focused sound on the, the mids and high frequencies as you roll off the, the bass sound and so it takes out some of that heaviness when using distortion. Now the specification for this instrument was that it should be a 19 tet, 19 frets per octave guitar. But you'll notice that as we get to the, the upper register, we've got 31 frets in total. But by the time you get much beyond the 19th frets, the frets are now very close together. And how usable are they? Because they are so close together. So one of my considerations was at which point do I join the neck into the body? Now the scale length doesn't change. That's the position from the zero fret to the bridge. So the more I push the neck into body, so to speak, the bridge has to then sit further and further back. And then if I push the bridge further back, it may be the guitar starts to look a little unnatural, a little unbalanced. So that's why I've settled for this overall design. So if you've been watching so far, you may be asking, so what does a 19 tet microtonal guitar sound like? Well, when Naren came to collect his guitar, I set him up in my workshop and just left him to play for half an hour or so, just so that he could satisfy himself that guitar was playing as he hoped it would do. And when I came back in, he was playing a four chord sequence. And I was really surprised that just having never played a microtonal guitar before, that he was able to find these four chords. And I just asked if I could record what, what he was playing. And I thought, well, if you're gonna play this just after half an hour, uh, then I'd be fascinated to see what he can achieve six months down the line of having played this microtonal guitar. So what you're gonna hear this four chord sequence, and I think, well, to my ear, you hear four chords that have familiarity about them, but also sound slightly odd, which I think is because they're being played on a microtonal guitar.
So there we are, a 19 tet, 19 frets per octave guitar. I hope you've enjoyed exploring this unusual instrument with me, but thanks for watching this Flame Guitars video.